Hi folks, welcome back to my garage and thanks for joining me today. I'm Tim, the Harley Man Quilter, and I'm here because I want to share with you my 2011 New Year's resolutions. I took some time to scroll them out and I'd like to share them with you. I think they're important to all of us. My tenth reason is I'm going to make it a point to make a label for every quilt that I make this coming new year. Tired of getting it mismarked and me failing to take proper credit for those that I am making. My ninth, I, yes, me, I'm going to spend more time watching YouTube videos. I'm going to see for myself these things like the Rainbow Guy and Antoine Dobson. And you know what I really want to do? I want to make it so that AccuQuilt itself has its own video with at least 100,000 viewers. Wouldn't that be pretty cool? My eighth resolution. I'm going to try something new. I'm going to reach out to that portfolio of good looking dies from AccuQuilt, grab some of the appliques, and I'm going to put them to use making things like, say, dogs for my beer coolers and beer koozies. Maybe some sunbonnet sues to be applied to my Harley saddlebags. We'll see. I guess the sky's the limit. My seventh resolution, I'm just going to finish projects. I really need to finish them. I have got a room full of UFOs that's got to get addressed. My sixth resolution, more me time. I spend all of my time with the ladies, the bikes, the bars, you know, that scene. Look. It's time I take care of myself. I need to be taken care of number one. And I think I've found some ways that I can do that. My fifth resolution, I'm gonna to volunteer to help others more. For example, I'm gonna reach out to the local ladies guilds and offer my services for demoing the AccuQuilt line of products. I really think I can make a difference there. My fourth resolution, I need to tame myself. I'm telling you, tame myself from certain vices. And I think we all know by now what vices those are. Women and bikes. I need to back it down a little bit. And my third resolution is, unlike the rest of America these days, who are stepping back, conserving and hoarding their cash, not me, for 2011, I'm gonna reach out and I'm gonna spend more. I'm going to personally try and jumpstart the economy, reaching out to gobble up as much fabric as I can and to put them to work with my AccuQuilt babies right here. Looking forward to that. Watch out stores, here I come. My second resolution, I'm working to conquer fear. And that fear is the fear of the rotary cutting miscut, mismeasurement, slice my finger off, whatever you want to call it, phobia. That's why these things are really special to me these days. And my number one resolution for 2011 is, which is very much the same as most of yours, is to focus on my diet. Now, in all honesty, I think that I've been looking pretty good, and I always have, but even I can afford to lose a little bit of the holiday poundage that I put on over the last 30 days. And as part of that, I can focus the same amount of time on the thin strippers, excuse me, on the AccuQuilt one inch strip cutter, the thin strips, with the projects that I've got planned for it. Folks, I hope that you've enjoyed my list of 10 resolutions for 2011. I'm gonna work hard to achieve those. And as part of that process, I'm going to ask you to take the time to subscribe to AccuQuilt on YouTube. And more importantly, I would like for you to share some of your favorite resolutions for next year in the comments section below. I thank you for the time, and let's look forward together to a great 2011.